Hi, it's me again. I thought that it would be easier if I do a video response to my own video to show you. I opened one of the twines and it is quite a hefty twine. It's much thicker than any other twine I have and I have quite a few different brands. Hopefully the camera will focus. Hold on, let me see if it will focus on my ring. <laughs> that usually works. But not at the moment, so I'm going to do manual focus. You see how much thicker this is? And the other trick that I found, uh, that I figured is I couldn't find the starting point, so I'm going to show you how to find it quickly if you got one of these. I'm using a very shallow blade. Um, I think this is from Pampered Chef. So I'm not cutting into the actual twine. So I opened it up and I couldn't find the starting point anywhere. So all I did is I took the top loop and pulled it over. Hey, look at that. This one was just a few more rounds around, yeah. but that's the easiest way to find it because it's tucked in and the stripes actually act as camouflage. So there's a quick little tip and yeah, the twine is quite a bit thicker. It's very sturdy. You can't rip it. At least I can't. I tried. <laughs> and I'm not a weakling, so you see my fingers even turn red. Nope. Um, some of the other twine, I do have to agree. I don't remember who posted the question, but I agree that there are some twines that are purely decorative. I think this is more functional. You could totally use this in a bakery, and no, I'm not going to open a bakery. <laughs> At least I don't think so, not yet. So I did open up the orange and the black because they'll be making appearances. Oh, and look at that. They're wound slightly differently. Maybe it's the... I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same amounts. Ooh, optical illusions. Ooh. All right, there you go. As always, if you have any other questions, please leave me a comment. I'll try to do maybe a video response. Thanks for watching.